Maka's guides. <laughs> Hey everyone, Maka here playing Elden Ring and if you've been progressing through the game you've probably gotten to this area where you have defeated Godric the Grafted, the first demigod boss battle. And as you do that you probably unlocked a couple of items including the Remembrance of the Grafted Consumable and Godric's Great Rune. Now you can find this item in the key item tab of your inventory and it will present you with a little bit of a description that it has to be activated at the Divine Tower or else it won't do anything and activating it will also grant you an achievement or trophy. So let me show you how to do that. Now there are a couple of ways to do this but I'm going to recommend that you teleport to the Liftside Chamber Site of Grace. And our goal here is to reach the Limgrave Tower Bridge, which is the long broken bridge connected to the castle. I'm going to show you how to get there really easily by just sprinting there for the sake of simplicity in this video. But feel free to take your time, kill the enemies along the way. You can also go around the right hand side and use a key to do a kind of secret way to get there. Or you can navigate on the rooftops and drop down. It's up to you how you do it, but do watch out for the ballistas. You can try to attack some of them from behind and use throwing knives to the ones that you can't reach. Or like me in this video, you'll just sprint by. Near the bottom of the hill, you'll want to take a left hand turn, go through the gate, watching out for the dog, which I have taken care of already. And it doesn't respawn. It's one of the few enemies that doesn't respawn. And once you make it into the gate past that dog, you can relax at the site of grace at the tower bridge here. After the small pit stop, you'll want to run forward here past the gate into a little bit of a mini boss battle where three golems will spawn. One in the back will be an archer and the two in the front will come and attack you hand to hand. They do have a lot of health and can hit really hard. You can just run right by them if you choose. It's pretty easy to just run by them or you can try to fight them. Now what you would want to do is let the archer in the back basically hit the ones in the front and they will pretty much take care of themselves. You'll also want to make sure you attack their weak point in their chest when they are knocked down for basically an easy one hit kill and just make sure you, you use your flasks to heal up and whatnot. Run by them if you so desire and watch out for the archer in the back. And then after you take care of all three of them, what you'll want to do is you'll want to go to the end of the bridge where it is broken and you cannot get to the divine tower. However, you'll be lucky enough that there will be a teleporter here, which we will take. Once at the Divine Tower, it's super easy. Just open the door in front of you, take the elevator up, rest at the newly discovered Site of Grace, and then head up the stairs into an open arena where it seems like you're about to get ambushed by another boss. However, it is as simple as just walking up to the tree and interacting with the item here. This will restore power to Godric's Great Rune. It will also unlock you an achievement or a trophy if it's your first time doing this, which it probably is. And now you can visit a Site of Grace and you'll have a new option here called Great Runes. Here you'll also be given a tutorial that tells you a rune art can give you even greater benefits to an equipped great rune, but this is actually a lie. A great rune on its own actually doesn't do anything, and this one says it will raise all of your attributes, but if you go and look at your attributes, nothing has changed. Once you equip a great rune, we actually have to activate it, and you do that by consuming a rune arc. You can find these on random enemies as they drop them. Having a higher arcane skill makes it more likely to get drops, or you can loot them in the open world or buy them from vendors. As for Godric's Great Rune, I'll show you how it works. Take a look at my stats here, and then after I consume the Rune Arc, if we go back to my stats, you'll see that each and every single one of my attributes is raised by five. I'm not sure if this current function of Great Ruins is a glitch, because according to the game, this is not how it's supposed to work. Also, when you do die, you will lose the effects of the Rune Arc. So if you want to use the Great Rune, you'll have to consume one every single time you spawn, which gets very expensive. Either way, thank you so much for watching. Drop a like on the video, share this video with a friend. A special thank you to everyone on Patreon for supporting the show, and hopefully I see you soon. Peace.